first of all, I would like to cut the attention of every single family around the world. Um, NASA has determined that the sea level has increased 23 centimeters during the last century. Known to the prey problems that affect our environment and therefore the tips in order to avoid them helps preserving the environment and therefore the planet. Uh, for this work, I've done research, navigating on the internet, and reading articles and watching videos about the different problems in, on the Earth. So I've managed a lot of information so that I, now I could be able to explain all the different problems and the tips to avoid them. Okay, so the new the situation is a problem such as global warming that leads to climate change or deforestation is leading to its deterioration and future end. We can satisfy this need by reducing, by reducing waste, reusing resources, and recycling materials. The world would be a better place if we knew exactly what to do and not to do in order to improve this, in order to preserve the environment and stop destroying it. By, by, by abusing or misusing the <coughs> resources that are obtained from the environment, we put it in danger and exhaust it. With the introduction finished, uh, we can now focus on why there is a need to take care of the planet. Um, the planet is um, suffering several problems that are causing its end little by little. I would like to focus mostly on the global warming. Um, according to the article Global Warming published on March 2006 by Amanda McMillan on website NRGC, one of the most uh, harmful problems is the global warming. As you can see, global warming is mostly going to the ocean. That means it has uh, harmful consequences such as melting glaciers. I would like to show you a quick picture. The Arctic and the Antarctic play the role of, of kind of like an air conditioner for the Earth system. They're cold, they have a lot of ice, they reflect a lot of the solar energy so they stay colder than they otherwise would. They're more sensitive to climate change and therefore they're the regions that we see the biggest effects of climate change so far and the biggest effects of warming. They're, they're kind of the canary in a coal mine of global warming. Uh, this year's Arctic sea ice minimum is in about the top 10 of the low of the, that we've seen in the last three and a half decades. As the global temperature has increased, the temperatures in the Arctic, especially in the past decade, have increased by about two to three times the global average. And so what's happening is temperature has increased, ice melts. Well, this year in the Antarctic, we've seen a pretty spectacular uh, maximum extent. The, the Antarctic sea ice has expanded beyond anything we've seen before uh, and set a new record. The increase that we're seeing in the Antarctic extent is a little bit of a mystery. Um, you know, we're seeing overall temperatures warming around the globe, um, so you would expect to see ice loss. Some people have looked at the Antarctic increasing trend and used that to suggest that global warming isn't happening or that the increase in the Antarctic is offsetting the decrease in the Arctic. Uh, and that's simply not true. If you look at just the, simply the magnitudes of the changes we're seeing, in the winter time, the Arctic is decreasing about twice as fast as what the Antarctic is increasing. It's important to look at the relationship between the Arctic and the Antarctic because studying those gives us a indication of what changes we're going to see around the rest of the globe in the future. Um, although it seems green, even though there is uh, there's no specific solution that will uh, stop the problem, but there's something we can do about it, and this will have <coughs> some benefits. In order to change unsustainable habits and reduce the world's mounting landfill, we need to adopt a three-pronged resource conservation strategy known as the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. The British government claims that a recent spike in conservation behaviors has had the equivalent effect to taking 3.5 million cars off the road. We need to reduce, reuse, and recycle to lessen our consumption of virgin materials and the vast amounts of energy used to obtain them. Okay, um, now then I would like to move on from what is happening now and talk about what could happen in the future. Just imagine, just picture a world with no dramatic climate changes. Just imagine winters in the Northern Hemisphere without warm days. All the species will have the climate that corresponds to them in its territory. And therefore, animals won't be in danger of extinction anymore. 
these thoughts, ideas, and hopes for a healthier future can be accomplished. Problems such as the global warming are causing the deterioration of the planet. We can help this if we reduce, reuse, and recycle. If you choose to do it, you will be helping your planet at the same time as you will be happy with yourself. The environment is the state of all living things that surround us, from what we take all of our raw material that we used to live. Defending our environment is part of our duty in order to achieve a better and healthier future. So let's do it.